Bienvenidos. Welcome to the What's New for the California Spanish Assessment, or CSA, video sponsored by the California Department of Education. My name is Carla Najera Kunzmiller, and I work at the Sacramento County Office of Education. By the end of this video, you will have an understanding of what to expect from the upcoming CSA field test, along with resources to support the administration scheduled for spring 2024. The CSA is an optional Spanish reading language arts test administered to students in grades 3 through 8 and high school. The CSA is aligned with the Common Core State Standards in Espanol, which are a translated and linguistically augmented version of the English Language Arts and Literacy Common Core State Standards. The opening of the CSA test administration window is January 9th through the end of a local educational agency's or LEA's instructional year or July 15th, whichever comes first. LEAs can begin administering the CSA once they have reached 66% of their instructional year. We're excited to announce that the CSA is expanding to include the speaking domain and one full write item for the writing domain at each grade level and grade span. The test is comprised of three segments. The first segment of the CSA includes three demographic questions completed together as a class. The second segment assesses listening and speaking, and the third segment assesses reading and writing. It's important to note that once a segment has been completed, a student can no longer go back and change their responses. Prior to the expanded test becoming operational in 2025, a field test of the new items must occur to evaluate their performance prior to using them on an operational form where they will contribute to a student's score. All registered students taking the CSA will be field testing the newly developed speaking and full write items. Students who are enrolled to take the accommodated forms and Braille aren't required to participate in the field test. The 2024 CSA is comprised of 52 items spanning three domains, listening, reading, and writing mechanics. In addition, 10 new test items will be field tested in grades three through eight and 16 items in high school on each of three different forms. The field test items will include the new speaking and full write items. Note that the CSA 2024 student score reports will not incorporate the speaking and full write item results into the overall score reporting range as those items are being field tested. Once the CSA is fully operational in 2025, the student score reports will incorporate the results of the speaking and full write items. In addition to providing verbal instructions, test administrators should inform students that a cover page with English and Spanish instructions is also provided. This cover page is found at the beginning of each segment and students can access it throughout the administration. For speaking items that require students to provide a verbal response, students will first listen to a passage and then record their response to the prompt. Students will have the opportunity to listen to the passage as often as needed and then record their responses. Students can re-record their responses as often as they'd like until they're satisfied with their answers and are ready to move on to the next question. We recommend using headphones with built-in microphones to minimize background noise and capture students' responses clearly. It is also recommended to use dividers to minimize distractions and provide students with a feeling of privacy as they record their responses. For full write items, students will read a passage and be asked to respond to a prompt. All the writing tools such as inserting accent marks will be available in the writing section of the test. 
The spell check feature, which underlines the misspelled word without providing word options, will also be available. This test is designed to be administered in a group setting. It is not necessary to administer the speaking domain and full right items in a separate setting. With the inclusion of the speaking and full right items, the test is expected to take approximately four to four and a half hours to complete. It is important to note that the CSA can be administered over multiple sessions spanning several days. Additionally, for the field test only, the testing contractor ETS will score all student speaking and full right item responses. Once the test is operational in 2025, ETS will continue scoring the full right items. Test administrators will listen to each recorded audio response for speaking and score each one in the teacher hand scoring system. The CSA administering an online test session document will be updated to include additional directions for administering speaking and full right items prior to the opening of the window in January 2024. As a reminder, the CSA 2024 student score reports will not incorporate the speaking and full right item results into the overall score reporting range, as those items are being field tested. We will continue to have CSA training tests. The CSA training tests have been updated to include a speaking audio response item and a full right item. In preparation for the administration of the CSA in 2024, we recommend that educators use the CSA training test so students can practice a speaking audio response item and a full write item, practice recording and listening to their responses and re-recording them as needed, Practice using writing tools associated with written responses such as accent marks. Interact with technology enhanced items and familiarize themselves with the embedded accessibility resources. The training tests also provide educators with the opportunity to familiarize themselves with the types of questions students will encounter on the CSA. The CSA training tests are available for each of the following grade spans, grades three through five, six through eight, and high school. The training tests can be administered in a standardized way that simulates a testing environment. Students can individually take the test in a group setting as they would during a live testing session. The CSA training tests are versatile and can be administered in a non-standardized manner as well. Educators may use them in flexible ways for instructional purposes. They may choose to work through the items together as a full group. This could provide students an opportunity to share responses and how they arrived at their responses. Educators may choose to review scoring rubrics or work collaboratively in small groups to discuss the items. Administering the CSA is an excellent way to gather more information on how students are progressing in their Spanish language arts literacy. It also provides a way of evaluating local Spanish language arts programs. Thank you for watching this What's New for the CSA video. For more information, please visit the CSA webpages at cde.ca.gov and caaspp.org.